home, a different kind of scandal. We learned today that more than a dozen students graduated from Clayton High School without actually earning a diploma. This is just the latest drama for the school after its principal got reassigned and the football coach quit. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer live tonight in Clayton. And Zach, I know you talked to a lot of parents, but what's the school district saying about this latest mess? Well, Marius, the superintendent said in a statement that he regrets the situation and that the district will do all they can to provide every opportunity for these students to meet these requirements. Now, after hearing about these recent graduates, we talked to students and parents who told us that they're focused on trying to move forward. Let's go, baby! Win. Beat everybody. It's what's on Clayton High School junior Noel Robertson's mind heading to watch Comet football. We need to show them that we're still strong, even though all this stuff that's going on. On Friday, Johnson County Public Schools officials confirmed 13 students who graduated last school year did not actually meet graduation requirements. This comes after recent news surrounding the school, including the resignation of head football coach Hunter Jenks and reassignment of principal Dr. Bennett Jones. His morale here is really low since Dr. Jones is everything that's come out, really, and we just need something to boost school morale. We went to Johnson County Public Schools with questions. <laughs> about the graduates not meeting requirements. The district also confirmed with us their HR department sent an anonymous survey to CHS staff members asking if they were aware of any final course grade changes without the teacher being consulted, and if so, were they for student athletes? Parents and players say the football program came under investigation earlier this year after accusations of grade fixing. That, to me, is the witch hunt. Kathy Scott is a Clayton High School parent and learned about the news surrounding recent graduates. I want every single high school in Johnston County to go through the same scrutiny that Clayton High School was just put through. For Scott, she wants one thing. I just want peace for my child and for the kids at this school, for the parents, the teachers, and all of the staff. Now, concerning these recent graduates, I did speak with an official with Johnson County Public Schools, and they were uh, they told me that they were unable to go on camera to talk with us about this today, but they did refer us back to a release that they sent out about this earlier today. I also asked the official about that survey and any results. They told me that they uh, are unable to provide any additional information at this time. Live in Clayton, Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News.